wanted to take a minute and explain the difference between standard deviation of a sampling distribution and standard error. Sometimes these two things get mixed up and you may be saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. So we're looking at standard error versus standard deviation of a sampling distribution. Now I'm just going to uh, use um, the standard deviation and the standard error formulas for the difference between proportions. But this could, this is also true for uh, the standard deviation of a sampling distribution and standard error for uh, uh, single proportions or means or anything else. Um, <clears throat> you could tell that the two formulas are very, very similar. In fact, the only difference between the two formulas is the fact that for standard deviation of a sampling distribution, we are using P and Q instead of standard error we use p hat and q hat besides that everything is pretty much exactly the same well what most people get a little bit confused with is when to use the word or use the when to use the term standard error and when to use the term standard deviation of a sampling distribution well the very quick easy way to keep this keep this straight is to remember that standard error is the formula that you use or the statistic that you are using when you are dealing with confidence intervals So <clears throat> that's one thing that you need to keep in mind. When you are working with hypothesis tests, hypothesis tests, then you are going to use the standard deviation of a sampling distribution. Okay, um, like I said, they're very similar, but the only time you should be using the term standard error is when you're dealing with confidence intervals. The big reason that there's a difference between these two is the fact that when we are dealing with confidence intervals, we are only using the sample to create the confidence interval. There's nothing else that we have to go with, so we're using that we are assuming that our our we are assuming that our sample is a good representation of the population, so we're using that to estimate um, the population parameter. Okay, so this is using a sample only, and therefore we call this standard error, and we use p hat and q hat. And again, this could apply to other types of inference as well. I'm just happening. I, I'm just using this uh, the difference between um, proportions as my example. And for hypothesis tests, we assume that the null hypothesis is true. And since we are assuming that the null hypothesis is true, then we are, we, we are not using our sample to create our confidence, or excuse me, we're not using our sample to create our standard deviation, or I should say the model that we are using. We are using an assumption to create the model that we are going to use. Therefore, we should call, that's why we use standard deviation of a sampling distribution when we're using hypothesis tests, and we can say standard error when we are talking about confidence intervals. Hopefully this gave you a little bit of information and gives you a tip on when you should be using the term standard error and when you should not be using the term standard error.